I've got a simple WPF application and I want to add three text boxes to it. But I want to show you that these are simple WPF text boxes. There's nothing special about them whatsoever. Uh, I'm just setting grid and column properties and I'm going to style them just to make them look a little bit fancy. But other than that, there's nothing that's interesting about them or remarkable. I'm going to want three of these, so we'll go ahead, copy that text box, paste it in two more times, fix up the row, and that's it. Let's go ahead and see what we've done. Okay, so using a tablet PC with a stylus, I can click on the text input panel and I can write in some text. And what it's going to do is automatically recognize that text and allow me to insert it right into the text box. So you'll notice that I get this functionality even though I didn't do anything special to my application. You just get it for free. So we'll put in some text. It'll recognize it. It recognized it well, but I want to make a fix here. So I'm going to replace that P with an S. Notice that the text input panel has been redesigned in Windows 7 uh, to make things really easy when it comes to text input. Even if I'm pretty messy, it does a really good job of figuring out what I mean. But not in all cases. If I really mess something up, then it's going to probably come up with something interesting. Yep, but you'll notice that I can use the using the tools, I can split up words, I can join them together, I can insert words, um, Let's play with this and see if we can make a change here. All you have to do is type in, and it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty intuitive when it comes to deciding what you need to do or to fix your text. We can even wipe out a whole line of text in one stroke. So in the second text box, Let's go ahead and try to put in a value. And in this case, I want to put in the value Benwick, all right? which is not something that you're going to find in a normal dictionary. And sure enough, it tries to change it to Berwick, and it doesn't really have any good suggestions for me that are, that are really even close. Now, I could force it to be Benwick, but uh, I actually would like to use this as a chance to demonstrate the new custom dictionary feature in Windows 7. So let's leave Visual Studio for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and just create a new text file on the desktop. I'll call it arthur.txt. And I'm going to open it with, uh, in this case, Notepad++. Now the reason I'm not using just regular Notepad is because I really want to make sure that this file is saved in Unicode format because it has to be in order to work as a custom dictionary. So I'll even go up to Format and say, uh, convert to uh, UCS, all right, UCS to Little Indian. All right, so now I've got that Unicode file. It's on the desktop, so I'll navigate out there. And notice I've got this utility, HWR Comp. That's for handwriting recognition. And I can compile that text file using the dash check flag. Just does a check of the syntax, make sure that the syntax is okay. That'll tell you if it's the wrong format. Now I can actually use it without the dash check in order to compile it. Okay, so now I've got this HWR DICT. It's a compiled dictionary with those two words in it. So now I can use the HWR reg utility. I can also use it to check the syntax of the dictionary of the compiled version, uh, or I can remove the dash check option in order to actually install it. So I say yes to install, and now I've got if I use dash list, I can see that I've got a secondary dictionary. That's the, the default uh, when you add a new uh, dictionary there. All right, so now I can go back to my application and go into that second text box. And now you'll notice that when I write out Benwick, it recognizes it right away, thanks to my custom dictionary and handwriting recognition in Windows 7.